What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Michael Train, artist and owner of Train and Vein Tattoos in Salina, Kansas. And today I would like to do a little video tutorial on how to properly frame and stretch a canvas. Um, I have here some stretching strips and then a roll of acrylic primed canvas both of which were picked up at my local Hobby Lobby. And then we also have a pair of canvas stretching pliers. These have a nice tooth on them so that it can grab the canvas. We'll make our life a lot easier. And I have a stapler. So this is most of the supplies we're gonna need today to actually put this canvas together. So if you're interested, Please stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So I have all of our supplies out that we're going to need to actually frame this canvas and stretch it. So I'm going to go ahead and list off everything we're going to need today. Um, I have, of course, a roll of our canvas that we're going to be using, a pair of scissors, a pair of canvas stretching pliers, And we have a stapler. We'll also need a tape measure or a ruler of some sort to measure out our canvas. And you're gonna need some sort of mallet to put the frame together. And a square to square up that frame. So first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna get our canvas cut out to the size that we need it to be. So you have to keep in mind, the canvas is gonna be able to wrap around the edges of this frame. So on these stretcher boards, typically one side is usually flat and the other side is beveled and you would normally put the painting to where the canvas sits on the beveled side. But in this case, both sides are beveled, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this frame put together and get our canvas cut. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out our canvas. Um, so when we're cutting out our canvas, we're just gonna wanna cut out a mark where we want it to be and then you're actually going to want to tear that canvas to get it to cut and set, rather than using the scissors. Okay so now we've got our frame all put together and squared up. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some marks on this canvas and we're gonna go ahead and get that cut. We're gonna wanna make the canvas bigger so that it can wrap around the frame. So depending on the thickness of boards, stretcher boards that you use, you might have to cut it a little thicker. I usually like to give myself on these thinner frames, you know, a good inch to two inches of play. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give a little mark. and we'll set this frame off to the side. Now, rather than cut this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the scissors and we're just gonna kind of put a little mark with the scissors where we want it to be. And we're gonna actually tear this. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna tear and it's gonna go straight down the screen. We're gonna do the same thing to this other direction. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and flip this on to its backside. And we're just gonna center this frame right over the canvas. And we're just gonna pick one of the sides to start with, and we're gonna put a staple 
right in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and this first one we don't really need our pliers for because there's not really any tension on it. So we'll just go ahead and put one right in the center. And now we'll go ahead and flip this around and we'll grab our canvas pliers and we're gonna pull this real nice and tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip this and do the opposite ends. Same, sticking with the centers. Pull that real tight. One more time on the center of this other side here. And when we pull this one, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we get it real nice and tight. Okay, so now when we flip this over, we should see a little bit of a V shape here. Um, that shows us that we have good tension so that we can get a nice tight canvas. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work our way around and we're just gonna finish stretching this and getting this canvas as tight as we can. Okay, so now we're left with our corners. And for our corners, what we're gonna do is we're going to make a fold just like so. And we're gonna staple it. So the reason we want to fold it like this is so that we don't have this extra seam on the side here. So we're gonna go ahead and do all four corners. So there we have it guys. I have our canvas completed. Our corners are done. Um, the canvas itself makes a nice drum sound when you hit it. That's kind of what you're looking for nice good tension. The canvas is stretched and ready to go, but I like to take it a step further and I like to spray the inside of the canvas, the back, with some water. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna soak into all the fibers and once that dries out, it's gonna actually pull and tighten that canvas even more so that you got it as tight as we can possibly get it. All right guys, so we have completed our canvas. Um, the canvas I've got here, it is nice and tight like a drum. I have the edges nice and flush, how I would like it to be. Now we're ready to paint. Um, I would apply at least probably two to three layers of gesso over this, and I like to spray the insides, the backs here with water before I start that process. And what's what that's gonna do is that water's gonna soak into the fibers of the canvas. And as that dries, it's gonna tighten and pull that canvas tighter per se. So that's just an extra step that I like to do. You can definitely try that out, see what how it works for you. Um, other than that, this canvas is ready to be gessoed and painted. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this or anything related to tattooing, art, and more, please hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.